Arthur. What are you doing? I said get out of sight. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Shh. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks, Arthur, dying on the train. Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> oh, look, there's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur. need... Some There's a body of food in the wagon. Or I hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. Now, friend, I ain't asking for much. Look out! There's more to bed. Upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Oh, Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Oh, I'm starving. Well, you should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. searching while I pack these on the horses. Grab anything you think we can use, then meet me out here. <laughs> Poor bastard was married too.
Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here and where Comb is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Where's Comb, O'Driscoll? With the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. <laughs> Okay. We mean you no harm. Miss, miss. Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. You okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they... Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. Uh, we're bad men. We ain't them. It, it's okay. 
Get on. Ugh. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently, scouting a train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up, give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. <sighs> Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. <gasps> Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know the situation were reversed and he looked for me. Thank you. This way, lest I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Driscoll's boys. Well, seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. See, they continue up that way. 
You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy, raining bullets. Watch out for this crevice. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way, but it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. Tracks go left, down here. Davy got shot, Mac and John both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Be careful. Yeah, that we're high up here. You're telling me. Drops down here. Watch yourself. Watch out here. Watch your head here. Okay, good now. Whoa. 
Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up here. Come on. Gap here. Over here. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John! you got there never thought I'd say this but it's good to see you Arthur Morgan you don't look so good I don't feel too good neither I'm freezing don't die just yet cowboy on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. You all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. You see that on the ridge? Perfect. I'll distract him while you get to the horse. Go. Draw them off. Okay, here we go, John. We'll leave them to Arthur. Oh, <laughs> 
got more coming in on the left. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. Yeah. You see any more, Arthur? No, think so. Hey. Jesus. You still with us, Marston? Just about. You're gonna be okay. We have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. We should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving? Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. Yeah. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? Can we get some help? I need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. All right, here we go. There we go. Ah, you careful, idiotas. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're going to get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. 